Yeah, welcome back to this class. Let's look at ordering of fraction. So, what do we mean by ordering of fraction? That's arranging fraction. So, how can we arrange fraction? So, we have two kinds of arrangement. We have ascending order and we have descending order. So, arrangement, so in ascending or descending order. So, ascending means you are arranging from the smallest to the biggest. So you are coming from small to big. You understand? So it also goes, okay, it's applicable to normal English too. So when you say when you ascend a mountain or you ascend a lift or you ascend a staircase, it means you, you climb it from the bottom to the top. Then descending means you are arranging from the biggest to the smallest. So it's applicable to real life too. As if you as if you descend a mountain, you come down from the top to the bottom. So let's see how we can arrange. So I, the way I teach this is that I look at different cases. I look at different cases. So the first case that I will consider is if fractions have the same denominators. If fractions have the same denominators. Let's look at this. For instance, if we have 1 all over 3 and 2 over 3. 1 over 3 and 2 over 3. It's easy to know. We can just, by looking at this, without any calculation, without much stress, we can tell the one that is bigger between this and this. First of all, if two fractions have the same denominator, consider their numerators. So, the one with the smaller denominator is the smaller. And the one with the bigger numerator is the bigger. The one with the smaller numerator is smaller. This is smaller than this. So, that means 1 all over 3 is less than 2 over 3. Let me illustrate that diagrammatically. If I have a box and I have another box, the same size, and I divide both of them into three equal parts. One, two, three, three equal parts. So one over three means shade one out of the three parts. That's one over three. But two over three means shade two out of the three parts. This one is one over three. Why this is 2 over 3. Now, compare the size of each. Which one is bigger? So that means 2 over 3 is bigger than 1 over 3. This is just a simple explanation. Now, it is not only for two fractions. Even if you have a group of fractions with the same denominators. If you have a group of fractions with the same denominators. Look at it. If you have 2 over 7 and 8 over 7, and 3 over 7, 5 over 7, 1 over 7, and you have 2 over 7. I have told you, oh sorry, let's change this to 6 over 7. So, and you are asked to arrange this either in ascending or descending order. Let's start from the smallest to the biggest. Now, arrangement, ascending, order if you have to arrange this now first of all everything have the same denominator now the smallest one will be the one with the smallest numerator which is one just like i've illustrated it so in ascending order that means we start with one over seven followed by two over seven followed by three over seven followed by five over seven followed by 6 over 7, and lastly, 8 over 7 will be the biggest. So this is how we arrange fractions with the same denominator. And if you are asked to arrange in descending order, that means you start, just reverse it, from 8 over 7 down to 1 over 7. This is how we deal with fractions with the same denominator. Thank you for viewing this. God bless you.